LJ Collier, Edge School, TCU, Conference, Big 12 College Experience, Senior, Age, 22, Height, Weight, 6 minus 2, 283rds LBS Projected Draft Status, 3rd or 4th Round NFL Comparison, Derek Wolf College Experience LJ Collier grew up playing football since the second grade. He is from a small town in Texas called Monday with a population around 2,000. His dad was a big influence and motivator in his life. Collier had a fine high school career yet had a tough recruiting process. He was a three-star prospect but only managed to get one Division I offer before it was pulled Texas Tech. When he got another offer from TCU he didn't hesitate to commit. Not everyone believed he could play football at the Division I level. Collier cites his father for his continued support and motivation in believing in him. He saw TCU's offer as validation. When Collier arrived on campus he wasn't even sure if he would ever see the field in his career there. Not only did he see the field after his freshman season he became a key player on TCU's defense and arguably their best pass rusher. Collier came into the draft season with minimal buzz but that grew with an outstanding week at the Senior Bowl. He stock rose even more with his performance at the Combine. Collier projects well as a power rush and in both 3-4 and 4-3 schemes alike. Strengths great length, athleticism, power, and strength for the position. Power and strength are his calling cards he simply overpowers his competition because of his upper body strength and ability to maintain a wide base while using power in his lower body as well. Once he gets linemen on their toes he uses his quickness and athleticism to quickly disrupt the backfield. Plays with good leverage and heavy hands and also has the power to take on double teams and remain stout. Plays with good arm extension as well and shows ability to work off blocks. Has a great motor and will work to the whistle. Looks strong and disciplined when playing contain in rush defense. Weaknesses doesn't have the flexibility you want to see out of a true edge. Needs better contact balance when bending. He can lose his balance and fall compromising all the work he did to collapse the pocket. You definitely to not want him in coverage. Doesn't make many attacking moves or counters besides his bull rush. While it's effective he should develop a couple more to help him get off blocks when he gets stuck. Not as versatile as other edge prospects and likely is limited to the DL at the next level. Let's see his work, TCU Edge LJ. Collier showing grown man strength with the long arm to put OT Dalton Risner on the ground. Again, Collier had himself a day. Picked at twitter.com slash one walk ussx gog, Gavino Borges at Gavino Borges January 23, 2019 to highlight the player's measurements, use, Collier is just another good mid-round option in a very deep DL and edge class this year. He would be a defensive end in the Redskins' defense. With his play style being that of a power rusher he would fit in well with the others guys like Ioannidis and Payne. Daniel Jeremiah thinks Collier could go as early as the late first round. Others think he could go somewhere on day two. Neither position surprises me as there are certain to be NFL teams that have him ranked much higher than others on their boards based on their defensive philosophies. The Redskins' defensive identity especially on the defensive line has emphasized size, power, and strength and it's been working out pretty well. Collier could be a fine backup to start his career now that Stacy McGee is gone, yay. But he has qualities that if developed could turn him into a starter in short order especially under the tutelage of Jim Tomsula and his counterparts. I'm not sure if Collier goes as high as some people project when it's all said and done but if he makes his way to the third round I have to imagine he will be in consideration for the team.